Not any seven. <laughs> Goldfish. <laughs> yeah, that looking forward to a lot of that. Looking forward to a lot of that. Get ready. You get a lot of that. How's the mouth we play something else? Up for a game of chess? Luigi Pinball? Fortnite Monopoly? I don't play Fortnite. Can we go back home now, George? Yeah, let's hurry it up already. I've got things to do. What? What on earth would someone like you even have to do right now, Ronald? Genocide. Okay. Oh, what? I was not listening to you at all. How do we get down from here, George? Do we have to? Yes. Fine. Ben Shapiro. Ben Shapiro does not seem to be in a helpful mood right now, so I am out of ideas. Do you have any ideas, Ronald? Genocide. Okay. Let's see if the dead losers have any bright ideas. Does anybody know how to get down? Get down? Jig Parlor's never back down. I know how to get us higher. Oh. What makes you think we know how to do anything? I have an idea, though it pains me to do this. I am losing weight. <laughs> hey, wait. This isn't right. Oh, perfect. Way to mooch off of my success to solve your problems, Elijah. Sure, success. That's what we'll call it. Oh, speaking of success, I have to go DoorDash for the rest of my life. Bobby, what are you doing? <laughs> And welcome to the first hourly meeting of the People's Gun Bearing Federation, or Pigamuth for short. It's an acronym. <laughs> Lots of people here at the Osterman Gun Rally. Our first order of business is to give me money. Are you here to give me money? Bro, ain't no one listening to this yap fest. Speak for yourself, Jake Paul. I've always wanted to fire an assault weapon. It is not an assault weapon. It's a... Uh, uh, which end is the shooty son? <laughs> Are you here to give me money? Bro, what are you gonna realize you ain't fit for the job of an influencer? I have plenty of influence! Gravitational influence. On what platform, bro? As if any platform can support- I'll have you know, I'm a level 5 community notes manager on Twitter. I mean- X. What kind of goofy Instagram fact checker PS is that, bro? It's my crowning achievement, thank you very much! Jeez, no wonder you achieve such an elite Twitter, I mean- X. Stannis, you have more tweets than there are seconds in a day. Is this all you do with your life? Yeah! No! Ever since becoming a level Level 5, yes. community notes manager who epically owns hundreds of woke anti-gun libtars every day, I'm now a professional debater. There ain't nothing professional about you, bro. I can tell when you're mad. Guns are bad! I can tell when you're mad. Is your idea of a debate just saying whatever you want and ignoring any response you don't like? I'm not listening to this. I gotta go DoorDash. <laughs> All right, George, not to sound like LGR, but... Nope, no elimination. Worth a shot. Shall we get the day off? Now I can live my lifelong dream of opening up my taco stand. Elijah's right. Let's get on with the elimination so we can finally get rid of Ronald. Then why don't you show me an elimination area? I know an area we can eliminate. That's insensitive. Bro, vacation in Ukraine? I can vlog the war for views. I'ma take my Team 10 rocket. No way. SpaceX is much more trusted than that crap because Daddy Elon is in charge. Just like he's in charge of Twitter. I mean, that naming is bad. Who said y'all scrubs were coming with me? This rocket is first class, bro. Too late. Time to carpet bomb Ukraine. <laughs> Pipe bomb! What was that? Nothing! I'm sitting on the rocket too! <laughs> Toodaloo, comrades! Oh no, bro! Oh, oh man! Mm, I see we're doing Challenger jokes now. The Space Shuttle Challenger disaster was a national tragedy and should not be mocked in such an overly disrespectful manner! Hey, keep it down or I'll eliminate all of you! Uh, wait. That's right, no elimination area. Well, be quiet anyway. I think we should just take it easy today. Isn't that right, Ben Shapiro? <laughs> Flying pirate ship, I admire your creativity, Ben Shapiro. I don't know what that one has to do with me, actually. Then who is responsible for this? Hi, George. 
Ryan, you already refused to leave my nightmares. The least you can do is leave me alone in real life. Stop making Ryan feel like he's not welcome here. I, for one, am glad to see my old friend. Nice to see you too, Garfield. So, how'd you end up here this time, Ryan? I don't know how to fly a plane. So when my plane was falling out of the sky, I flew away with my handy dandy green pay down. And then I landed safely on the ground. Yay, I made it. But my plane was still missing, so I asked my friend Frosted Flakes to look for my plane and bring it back to his wife for Ono. And when he found my plane, I was really happy because I liked my plane, but I was still mad because I got flattened. So I wanted to sue Freedom Island Deluxe for damages, so me and my friend Frosted Flakes went to Freedom Island to announce our lawsuit. But we couldn't find Dorn or anyone else for that matter, so Frosted Flakes and I decided to split up and fight it around the island. And after we split up, I went to a Vestibar. He was super smart because he healed my injuries, gave me a cool hand. Right after being a Vestibar, I ambushed my police, so Vestibar told me to follow him to his RV and walk away to the desert and walk away. But then we lost, I had no money, so Vestibar showed me how to glue rocks and sold people and not to me. Hey, now we were visiting my friend and customers to Welcome back to Loser Who Got the Most Votes Gets Kicked Off on the Showtime. Last time, the red team lost by the skin of Officer Bones' yellow teeth. Not funny! Eh, it is a little bit funny. And a lot of it true. That's it! You're all getting pipe bombed. What, bro? Nothing! We received 389 votes. Is that a new record? No! Boop! Am I safe? No! Okay! Communist Bowser is safe with 55 votes. I'm a bra, I'm a bra. Those filthy Ukrainians won't get away so easily. Your prize is this Rainbow Road shard. Bingo Bongo, your prolonged existence on the show brings me nothing but grief. However, you are safe with a whopping 80 votes. Hip hip hooray! Wait, what? That's way too many Bingo Bongo votes. I can't sleep at night knowing I have this many haters. Are they gonna come after me? Do they want me to end? I can't handle this kind of pressure. <laughs> Bingo, do you want your prize now? Ooh, prize! <laughs> and that's why you shouldn't play with broken glass, kids. Not down to Ronald and go back. Oh no, I'm in the bottom two. You're also probably in the bottom one. We are not doing this again, Ronald. Any last remarks before we reveal the votes? I hope Cool Cat dies. Death threats are bad! Ben Shapiro, reveal the votes. <laughs> That was perhaps the lamest possible revelation, Ben Shapiro. Facts don't care about your feelings. Well, I guess Cool Cat is safe with 95 votes. And Ronald is eliminated with 159 votes. Wait, for real this time? Sucks to suck, sucker. <laughs> 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 and that goes to show that bullies never win. And they go to hell before they die. <laughs> <laughs> Any last words, Ronald? <laughs> Good enough. Dumb, dumb. Ronald? <laughs> Ronald? My mother said I'd end up here if I got a tattoo. <laughs> oh shoot, my bingo senses are tingling. Something's wrong. <laughs> Ah, really, Ronald? Blackface? That's insensitive. I'm gonna say the end one. George, what do you think you're doing? You can't eliminate Ronald. He's the only person who pretends to enjoy my company. Gosh, gosh, gosh. You done? I, I guess so. Cool. Okay. No! <laughs> so, any ideas for how we can get down? Terrain, terrain, pull up, pull up. I can always have faith in that solution. I've never had faith in that. You know what? Shut up! I'm gonna go DoorDash for the rest of my life. I mean. That's not his fault. Your fault, Bobby. You're like going like a bat out of hell. Hard steel, this one only hurts a lot. <laughs> Go ahead, I can take it. This is what happens when you're not safe around broken glass. This glass isn't as broken as much as George broke my spirits when he eliminated Ronald. It sure sucks being eliminated, eh, Ronald? <laughs> bro, you landed on the Team Tan house. Give me all your cash. Daddy's gotta invest in more NFTs, bro. Like this one. Look at it. It's a monkey. That's it. No rule. You have to bail Avi out. Give me all your money. So you can spend it all on your poor people food at 7-Eleven, bro? That's it. I'm banning you from Red Tail. <laughs> we are so back. Bro, 
I can tell when you're mad. I'm not mad, because I'm way more successful than you. Your hairline sure ain't successful, bro. Shut up! My hair is an off-limits meme! Off-limits because it's falling off your head? Not funny! You're only mocking me because you're jealous of my achievements. I mean, all you do is spend all day losing arguments on Twitter. I mean, <laughs> and driving for your dead-end doornash job. Have you done a single productive thing this year? Yeah, I do the dishes and fold my laundry and tie my shoes all by myself. Wow, good job, Avi. You get it. Gold star. I'll put it on the fridge next to your drawing of a Jew for everyone to see. Ooh, fridge! <laughs> okay, now I'm energized to win another game. Let's play chess, Elijah. Get ready for the next boom. Force to move. Check me. Run! We have to do something about all the broken glass. It's making the island dangerous. Oh, come on. Don't be so lame. I thought they called you Cool Cat. A shard of glass has never hurt anyone. What? What do I say? Nah, communist bro. Cool Cuz has got a point. Glass shards might get my vlogs demonetized, bro. Which means the little kitty babies won't be able to watch. And I love beards. Jeez. Yeah, you should all start cleaning up the glass. I'll be over here managing the cleanup process. <laughs> But, but, I don't like picking up glass with my ass. Well, you better get used to it, because if Nintendo finds out we were using Rainbow Road, let alone the fact that we destroyed it, and the evidence is all over our island, we will be sued into the ground. And I cannot afford another lawsuit. Can you imagine if the Freedom MCN lost more money than it already does? We wouldn't have sufficient funds to produce a third season of Freedom Island. Oh, no. Which means your next challenge is to clean up all the rainbow glass shards scattered across the island and dispose of the evidence. I don't care how unethical your solutions may be, as long as they're out of sight and out of mind. Whichever team disposes of the most glass shards wins immunity, and the other team will be up for elimination. Got that? Wait, so we have to... find the golden apple? Begin! The last time I cleaned up the environment was when I was a Boy Scout, when I was a little boy! Did someone say little boys? I even remember the Boy Scout's law! A scout is trustworthy, loyal, uh, helpful? And wimpy too, by the looks of it. Yeah, wimpy! <laughs> I'm incredibly strong, like my best friend Ronald! Oh no! The emotional wounds are reopening! G -g -g well, if you want to prove how strong you really are, maybe you should help me clean the environment like a real man. But, but, I already had to pick up glass with my bare hands before, and it was not fun. Cool, sounds like you're a pro. While you two do that, I'm gonna go find the tool I need to get these shards off the island. Stalingrad is right. I'll face my fears. I can do this. <laughs> Huddle up, Team Osterbone. I saw on TV once that smart people come up with plans, so let's do that. Aye, aye, General Racklin. Whoa! Off limits, meme. You can't let people know my last name is Racklin. <laughs> Okay, Admiral Alexander. I have a plan, Captain Calories. The original Rainbow Road was a massive tourist attraction. If we collect enough shards, we can build our own attraction. That way, the evidence is properly covered up. And I, I mean, we can make a profit. Not a bad idea, but what do we make with the shards? Isn't it obvious Rainbow Road was like a giant space roller coaster? And I've always wanted to make roller coasters for my Detroit amusement park. It's time to make my dream a reality. Dear mother of Ja. I'm gonna have to park the bus on that, Director DoorDash. Your lame tourist trap will turn Team 10,000 into Team Zero. Our best bet is to begin construction on the Team 10 Hotel! Okay, this is officially too stupid for me to handle. Elijah, where are you going? I'm taking the day off. Good luck. Well, if Elijah's going solo, I am too. Team 10 Hotel ain't gonna build itself, bro. Fine, who needs you? You have no leverage. First off, there's me, the most important member of this community. Without me, there's no Quintus Minimus, there's no Ryan, no one is relevant. I am the centerpiece. You take a big chest board and you take the king. The king's god. The king dies, everyone else dies, you lose. I'm the king. Make sure to clean up every last glass shard, Bingo. Mother Nature will thank us. I don't like doing community service. It hurts. Good Samaritans clean up their environment no matter how much it hurts. Easy for you to say, cool cat. You're the coolest cat in town. And you could be cool too if you just man up and save the planet one glass shard at a time. But, but, I've saved the planet before. Once, when I was five minutes younger than I currently am, I went outside of my house. It was a huge accomplishment for me, but I forgot my Dr. Pepper, so I turned around to go inside, but then my house is on fire! My Ocean Breeze candle got knocked over by a stray gust of wind. Luckily, I cried so hard, I was able to put out the fire. Well, when I was a cool kid, Daddy Derek taught me proper fire safety, so something so dangerous and irresponsible would never happen to me! Well, when I was five days younger than I currently am, my dad finally talked to me for the first time, and he said that he's disappointed in me.
Oh, I, uh, um, I'm so sorry, Bingo. No, no, it's okay. I'm all right. But maybe your dad would be proud of you for once if he knew how to save your planet and pick up the glass shards. <laughs> okay, who will help me make my Detroit amusement park? Yay! Ooh, I know who to call. Mommy? Dad? Opa? Wait. Prentice? 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 Uh, this is a voicemail. LGR? Is there untouchable? Chance? How did you get my number? Chance, I need your help. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't know this thing could go in water. I didn't know boats went in water either. Man, what a beaut. It's pronounced boat, not beaut. I haven't been on an airship this nice since high school. And I never graduated high school. Say, Ryan, you think I can hitch a ride over to Dubai? That depends. You got the green stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah. Sorry I'm a bit short. I got ambushed by the DEA back there and lost a lot of product. The DEA? Don't you know you're not supposed to sell to policemen? C can we discuss this later? Let's just get to Dubai. Okay. All right, Waluigi, how's construction coming along? Why, hello there, valued customer. One ticket will cost you $10. Bro, what? $10 to view the attraction. What attraction, bro? This is just a pile of junk. Fine, I'll give you a discount. $9.50, but that's as low as I'll go, mister. I admire the hustle, bro, but you ain't scamming me into buying a ticket to my own construction site. Wait, speaking of which, why ain't you constructing, bro? Don't you know how to build? Well, I knew a guy who was good with that stuff, but he didn't leave me with many tools to work with, so I told Castia if you want this job done right. Bro, here's a fat stack. Now get to work, bro. We're losing ad revenue here. Fine, bro. Now quit lacking. So good. <laughs> All right, bro. We at least got the ball rolling, which is way more than what Tubby can say. What's he up to anyway? <sighs> okay, Avi. I'm here. What do you want? All right, Chance. You're the only person in my life who hasn't abandoned me, which means you and I get to work on the Detroit Amusement Park. Yay! How do you expect us to do that with no equipment, no professional experience, and most importantly, no money? Brokeyopi. We don't need any of that. Instead, we can use these woke pieces of road into materials for my Detroit amusement park. Yay! And these rainbow shards are totally not illegal and definitely will not cause us to get sued by Nintendo if they catch us using them. <laughs> okay. Even so, how are just the two of us going to be able to handle all? This. Don't question my credentials. I am the perfect candidate for governor. I mean, owner of the one and only Detroit Amusement Park. Yay! Mm, yes, it's all about you, isn't it? Of course it is. I'm the centerpiece. You take a big chessboard and you take the king. The king's gone. The king dies, everyone else dies, you lose. I'm the king. I'm gonna look at yes. Get to work. It's too much. The glass is too heavy. You can't be serious, Bingo. My arms are burning. It feels like they're gonna snap in two. Get a hold of yourself, Bingo. Someone make it stop. Make it stop. Make it stop. Oh, good golly. I've had enough of your constant complaining, Bingo. If you'd rather sit there and watch our Mother Earth die, then you deserve to go to hell before you die. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I think we're in Dubai now. Where did you want us to land? Full speed ahead, Ryan. I don't know about that. If we go full speed, we might crash into the- When's Daddy coming home? I told you to be patient. I want a pony! Excuse me, pardon me, coming through, out of the way, move aside. Ah, uh, well if it isn't the Freedom Space Agency. Yet another sham riding off the coattails of the Soviet Space Agency. No matter though, with a true red-blooded cosmonaut behind the wheel, I can launch all the glass shards off the island and spread Soviet supremacy across the galaxy. So, without further ado, we you going- know, like, huh? Wait for me! Sorry, legless turtle man. Mr. Bone says you're too much of a liability to our operation. Step on it, Ryan. Okay. No! Come back! Huh? I'm pissed off! Uh, uh, you'll never take me alive! <laughs> How's it coming along, LGR? No, I'm Chance Dementia Boy. You know, like the rapper. Rappers? That's the worst part of the candy. Oh, I mean, shut up. Get back to work, Quintus. Oop, back to work? Like a job? Don't you have a job, Avi? Are you door dashing for the rest of your life? Do you have any money left? Did you sell your entire streaming setup to afford rent? I'm gonna look at this. Yes. Get to work. 
Hi, LGR. Have you seen my phone? Welcome to the Egg Support Base. Daddy Elon has recently implemented a rate limit of 500 tweets per day. 500 tweets? I post that much in 30 seconds. Well, we can disable your rate limit for the low, low price of $10. $10? I make that much in 30 lifetimes. No, thank you. Bro, I thought I paid you to start building my Team 10 hotel. Well, you see, I used the money you gave me to purchase better tools, so I bought the gold ones because they looked the best. Problem with that is that they all broke almost instantaneously. So, uh, no refunds. <laughs> Seems like no one wants to help me get the clout I deserve, bro. And if Jake Paul can't have clout, then no one can. Well, now that I can't use yes. 25 hours a day anymore, I finally have time to be a productive member of society for once. When people think of banks... Let's build this thing! Cool Cat is right. A whip like me does deserve to go to hell before I die. I guess Mommy was always right when she said that to me every day. Well, here goes nothing. <laughs> Rockets never had those. <laughs> nice try. My fiery air is fireproof. What the? A portal? <sighs> oh, hi, Communist Bowser. Did you go to hell before you died, too? Bingo, run! Okay. Oh, quick! Bingo! Get on the rocket! You have to deliver the glass shards into space! What? Why me? Because I have to fend off the police. Now hurry! Fulfill my cosmonaut dream! Okay! <laughs> Boy, this is worse than the time I was sick! <laughs> Come get some! <laughs> the Dubai PD! Ben Shapiro, do your thing! Stanky leg. There we go! All done saving the environment! You're welcome, Mother Earth! <laughs> What was that? Police officers are our friends! Huh? Oh no! Faster, Mr. Bluebill! I can't go back to jail! We should be safe up here, Ben Shapiro. Well, I... I don't feel very safe. <laughs> well, I can't believe it, Mr. Bluebill! We're gonna win! We're gonna win! Gay! You can't say that! Alright, I decided to pop back in. How are things looking? Ooh, you came back just in time, Elijah! Feast your eyes on the grand opening of Officer Bones Detroit Amusement Park! Yay! I can't wait for all the guests we'll have, like Hannah and Tricky Dicky and BBG Brittany and Becca Boopy and Caitlin and Xavier and all the people from my apartment who didn't want to eat dinner with me on stream. I have no words. Ticket prices start at twenty dollars. I even made a jingle. I love children very much. Bring me kids that I can touch. Wait, what? Oh, look, our first guest. Everyone, watch out! You're about to face the wrath of my team. Ten script bro. Sir, one ticket will cost you twenty dollars. Oh no, he's gonna destroy my amusement park! Quick, get inside the amusement park. We'll be safe in there. What, bro? Why did that work? You are just riding a razor scooter, bro. Yay, I win! This calls for a celebration. <laughs> okay, it looks like the police are on my tail again. So let's wrap this up quickly. Team 10,000, you guys did a good job collecting the rainbow shards. But did you forget the part where I told you to dispose of the evidence? It's clearly all still here and looks like a mess. What do you think, Ben Shapiro? This is the dumbest piece of crap I've ever seen in my entire life, and it is not particularly close. You guys should take a note out of the red team's book. They erase so much evidence that I don't even know where any of them are. So I think it's safe to say that the red team wins, and Team 10,000 is up for elimination. This is all your fault, Jake Paul. You spent the entire time time plotting against me when I was the only hope we had. Bro, I would have made something better than your sorry pile of trash if Waluigi didn't spend the whole time trying to make a quick buck. Hey, at least I did something. Eliza spent the entire challenge doing jack squat. Let's be real here. You think I had any power to stop this disaster from happening? Well, I think I did a good job today. Oh, God, 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 That's it. You're all getting pipe bombs. What did you say? Nothing! Oh, my God! How did that happen?
Vote to eliminate one of the zeros on Team 10,000 in the comments below. Whoever gets the most votes will be eliminated. Voting ends April 7th, 2024 at 3 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And be sure to tune into FID20 in another year. can't stop pissing off the police, can you? Calm down. At least it won us the challenge this time. Plus, it ain't all that bad. I ordered us some DoorDash, and it should be here any second. DoorDash delivery for... You! Food! <laughs>